بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهدا اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم صلاة ترضيك وترضيه وترضى بها عنا مولانا رب العالمين رب الشهر صدري ويسلي أمري واحد العقدة من الإنسان يقول قولي الحمد لله ودى الله سبحانه وتعالى سبحانه وتعالى We are blessed Once again to be together at the blessed Majlid Abdul Razak to continue, inshallah, the teaching in the book of Sayyidina Mawlana Imam Al-Ghazali, Wonders of the Heart. May Allah grant us the barakah of his ilm and knowledge and his taqwa and hidayah and to be all of us among the rightly guided people servants of Allah في الدنيا والآخرة آمين يا رب العالمين We are الحمد لله also there is something else something also to mention about that we have just entered the holy secret month of Dhul Hijjah this month is a very special month first of all is the last month in the Hijrah calendar, Muharram will be the first month, inshallah, in the Hijrah calendar, 1446. Secondly, is a secret month among the months of Al Ashur Al Hurum. There are four of them, Minha Arbaatul Hurum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. These Shah Al Haram secret months are three came together. Which is Dhul Qa'da, Dhul Hijjah, Dhul Qa'da last month, Dhul Hijjah this month, next month Muharram, and there is one month come separately, come alone, which is Rajab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَلَا تَظْلَمُوا فِيهِ إِلَّا أَنفُسَكُمْ The main thing in this month, do not wrong yourself, do not act unjustly, unjustly to your own self. By committing zulum, by wasting time, by talking nonsense, etc. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, do not, uh, I mean, try to uh, do your best, do not do injustice to yourself. This is something which is uh, really to be considered all the time, in fact. Not necessary in the, in any month, a special must, month, but it's a whole the year. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us also uh, in this month, because there are something special in this month, plus there is season, motion. A motion of Forgiveness, blessings, remembrance, offers. You know, sometimes in certain time of the year, uh, like end of the year, uh, festivals, there is an offer, discounted price. Uh -huh. Cars, they will say, you will have extra one year of free service offer you'll have discount in the price etc but they won't give you the whole thing they of course they make benefit there is no loss they have to not to make any loss now and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the months where he offer us in a special in the months many of them all of them 
of our special rahma. Not he kept something and he gave us 20 rahma extra. No, he gave the whole thing always. Rahmat. Let us say, for example, Friday to Friday, al Jumu'ah ila al Jumu'ah kafara lima baynahuma ida ashtunibat al kabair. From Friday to Friday, between two Fridays, Allah will forgive the normal sins we commit every day. You know, small, small ones. The condition of it is you have to be avoid committing big sins. Zina, drink, Rangubillah, yani all the sins which keep you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keep you at distance. And there is every night, every week, every Thursday, every Monday, special blessings also, the deeds will be presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sayyidina Rasulullah used to fast every Monday and Thursday. He used to say because deeds presented to Allah and I would love my deeds to be presented uh, while I'm fasting, performing ibadah. He's telling us, when we ask him, we ask Rasulullah why, he's, he tells us why, the reason, so that we will do the same. Okay? Not because Allah in need for our deeds, but we are in need for his mercy and we need to make sure that we will maximize the use of the offers. Opportunities one miss anyone, people miss the opportunities. We are in a season of Dhul Hijjah, these are special blessings, secret month, last month, 10 days, 10 nights of Dhul Hijjah, Allah swore on them in the Quran. In Surah Al Fajr, the first two verses. Wal Fajr, Walayalin Ash, and by the 10 days. The ten nights. Who are they? The nights of Dhul Hijjah. When Allah is wearing something that might be something big. Uh -huh. So this is something which to think of it. And what is it? What the ulama used to do? They would do extra ibadat, fasting, sadaqat, recitation of Quran. This is something you can do, everyone can do. But there is deeds also, if you do it. You get special blessings. Why? Because this man, Sayyidina Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa in Dhul Hijjah, this is a 10 days, today is the first, tomorrow second. In some countries, tomorrow third, today second, anyway. Uh, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said in hadith narrated by Imam Bukhari that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love the deeds in these days, in these days. Allah love the deeds. There is something here. You love the deeds, and Allah love the deeds. If you love deeds, you perform it. I love to pray. I love to tahajjud. But Allah love these deeds. Allah love you to do special ibadah or to perform good deeds within these ten days. So don't care about the reward. Care that Allah love it. Subhanahu wa taala. Mm -hmm. uh, in our life, sometimes, what we do, uh, for example, if we want to please someone, we get for him what he likes. You have a friend, or mother, or your wife, or your son. They have something they love. In her birthday example, you will say, I will, you will surprise your mother uh, with a ticket of Umrah, going to Umrah. Oh, she'll be very happy. Or you buy for her something, or for your son, or for your, yani. But uh, there's sometimes for us to see certain people after a long time, or even to see them every day, for us is a Eid day, consider. He said, the, the poet said, the day I see you is my Eid. And other than that, that day should not be counted in my, in my book. Allah had to forgive me huh, for being something, <laughs> because I have not seen my beloved. But the day is, you know, that's our Eid day. 
Sahaba radiallahu anhum, had the Sahaba came to Rasulullah, say, Rasulullah, I go back, spend all that day with him, right? He said, I go back home, I could not take it. I come back because I cannot wait to see you. So they wait in front of his house, sitting till he comes, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Narrated by Sayyidina Aisha. This is something which is extraordinary. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He loved to see you performing these deeds in these 10 days. We talk about something, but not sure how many of us will perform. Not sure how many of us will please Allah and make sure that He would do something good in these 10 days, which because Allah loved. So Sahaba radiallahu anhum, they asked Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Ya Rasulullah, more than any given to mujahadat, struggle fi sabirillah, he said, more than that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even more than him. He loved it, more than mujahadat fi sabirillah. So they were like amazed. So special this month. This month and this ten days, especially. Another thing. In this uh, ten days, we have a Hajj, pillar of Islam, one of the pillars, Hajj. And this Hajj, fasting you can fast anywhere, pray you can pray anywhere, zakat you can give to anyone, la ilaha illa to say anywhere. Hajj, different. You have to go to specific place. Specific with a specific time, specific dress, they everything to perform specific special ibadah. That cannot be happen only on the not this is why the people they have competition. Hope to go to Hajj, hoping for them to go to Hajj and perform special ibadah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have chosen them. Some people been chosen to go to Hajj, some people they will choose be chosen by Allah to perform special ibadah every day. Tahajjud, feeding poor people, helping, calling, forgiving, many things you can do every day. You search of in the morning when you wake up or at night you plan for the next day. In the morning, you will say what's supposed to be done today. There are people, when they wake up in the morning, they say, to whom I should do something good today? If they, he will make sure, call. Who is in the hospital? Who is happy? Who is getting married? Is there any janaza? They will search. Huh? So that they be part of it, because they are searching of good deeds. What is the meaning of all this? Sayyidina al-Imam al-Ghazali, uh-huh, Imam al Ghazali, in Ihya al we've discussed before and the whole concept of Ihya al din or Ajaib al Qalb, the wonders of the hearts. You, because you wonder sometimes about Awliya Allah, Salihin, how they became Wali Allah, miracles, love, Mahabbatu, something very special. They love when you read their life, very special. Uh, Allah have chosen them. When Allah chooses someone, if Allah loves someone, see what the difference between you love someone and Allah loves someone. If you love someone, maybe you love him, you like him, but not anyone likes him and love him. Is it necessary for other people love? But when Allah loves someone, everyone will love him. Everyone. See Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Allah's beloved. Abdullah bin Salam, he was a chief priest in Medina, in Yathrib. His father was a chief priest also before, of Yahud. When he, uh, he said, I went to see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa I went to see Muhammad, who is he? I want to know when he came, when he entered to. See, see the minute I saw him, he said, I realized this, this face not a liar face. This must be a face of truthful person. Father, this face is special. Sayyidina Yusuf, he was put in the prison cell. With whom? Who? Angels or prisoners? 
What is it now? They did so much of, you know, wrong things. Two of them, they had, uh, as in the Quran, they, they saw dreams, both of them. So they came to Yusuf, Sayyidina Yusuf, asking him to interpret the dreams for them. Sayyidina Yusuf is a specialist in, in dream interpreting, interpreting dreams. How they know these people? They know, they came to say to him, they tell him the dream, and they said to him, Inna naraka min al We can see that you are a pious man. You are the doers of good. They saw what? What they saw? They saw Allah's love for Sayyidina Yusuf, on Yusuf. Well, Allah loves him. He said, Inna naraka. Hmm? So, why is that reason? Because he is Allah's beloved. Awliya Allah also, Allah pulled them towards him and they became the reason to pull others. Allah wants to reward Awliya Allah and reward the followers of Awliya Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can make all people Awliya Allah, but he wants to show us that there are people among his servants, they struggle to be minas salihin. So they are what? The doers of good. They want, you will see them always in all good occasions. Sad occasions. If they help, they will be first to help. Kindness, they are the best. You see in them all the, they are box of all good deeds. Anything you put inside that box to pull, you pull something good. And in the opposite, they are also doers of evil, na'udhu billah. That's really black box. Uh -huh. Only disasters. And Imam Ghazali, before we, if you remember, I'm not sure you recall, he said, our friends are in different types. One is like air. You cannot live without him. Like how the Sahabi said to Sayyidina Rasulullah, I cannot live without him. Yeah? And sometimes in, in a dream, or not in reality, to say to someone, you are the moon of my life. You're the star of my life. You're the sweetness of my life. Correct? Mm -hmm. You're the sweetheart. I mean, all this. So they're like air. You cannot live without them. In the morning when you wake up, first thing you see your phone, message from them or something about them. Or you message them or talk with them. Secondly, Sayyidina Imam Ghazali said, and then some of them like food. You need them, you know, yani, uh, always, you need them most of the time. You're busy with your work, they're busy with their work, but you need them. They are like, you know, food, brunch, lunch, uh, uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, every day, three times. Others like medicine. You need them when you are sick. They are the remedy for your sickness. So I say, and others like disease. You are not in need for them at all. Wake up, oh, na'udhu billah. Today is, don't know what's going to happen to me because of, not something to say because of his, no. Because this guy, Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, they are the worst people, is those when the people try to avoid them because they are evil. Always troublemakers. When they enter to peaceful environment, that environment becomes fire. They create fitna. They argue. They raise up questions which are not necessary. Etc. We have this type of qualities, unfortunately. Inshallah, to be with Salihin will make us among them. Sayyidina Jalal Dirumi said, said, to sit with Awliya Allah if you sit with Awliya Allah, you will become one of them. Huh? Accompany Awliya Allah, you will be one of them. It's correct? Yani, sometimes people said, hey, don't mix with so and so, he's evil. So on the other hand, mix with so and so, he's an angel. Like he's an angel, he's not an angel, he's a human, but. Mm. Uh, I think Sayyidina Imam Malik. He said, I never, whenever I sleep, I never put my feet towards my sheikh's house. 
even in respect, it's not something which uh, to say, oh, this is uh, too much. No, it's not uh, too much or not uh, little. Or, this is how he feel. These are feelings, you call it. Correct? So, people like that, the quality of them, the salihin, those whom they always make use of these uh, uh, opportunities. This 10th of Dhul Hijjah, if you try, try, fast Monday, Thursday, among, you know, Arafah, uh -huh, that's another thing. Day of Arafah, well, that's another thing within Dhul Hijjah, and day of Eid, and day of Qurban, and say that there are lots of things in these 10 days. And we are not going to talk about it all. But lots of things, in fact. Laylatul Qadr, within the last 10 nights of Ramadan, unknown. But we love it. Because Allah loves Yom Arafah, and these 10 days, Allah make Yom Arafah known, made it known to the people. Ninth of Dhul Hijjah. Correct? Hmm. So, because Allah loves it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's known. What we can do? Fast. Fasting sunnah for those who are not in hajj. Sayyidina Rasulullah said, I hope it will erase the sins of past year and coming year. What the mean of coming year? Yani, you will be protected from committing sin. There are two types of people. Uh, people who they love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore they try to be away from haram committing sins and haram things Allah and the people whom Allah love them therefore he will keep haram away from them you understand it? if you love Allah you try your best to be away from haram but Allah love you he will keep haram away from you even if you see you don't feel you want to engage yourself with, with anything which Allah doesn't like. Because Allah loves you. That's a sign of Allah's love. So, in the month of Dhul Hijjah, in the, the, the first, especially the first 10 days, lots of things. Allah, maybe we can, in our classes, we talk more about them. But it's totally linked to our wonders of the hearts. Because, before purifying hearts, purification of hearts need deeds, need work. Spend all your life. إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْمٍ سَلِيمٍ أَتَى اللَّهَ The whole of your life you struggle to reach to that purity. Otherwise, your life become wastage. You just spend your life eating, drinking, sitting, visiting, sleeping, you know, where to go, whom to visit, who going to visit me, what we going, yani, this is mubahat, this is allowed, but this is not the soul of the life, not the O2 of the life, the oxygen of the life. The oxygen of the life is zikrullah, remembrance of Allah. Remembrance, not only zikr, you know, see something to keep yourself, yourself away from bad things, this is zikrullah already. And this shows the purity of your heart already. You are in the right track. So inshallah Allah grant us to be among al-muttaqeen, al-salihin, al-munibin. And we ask Allah to help us. Allahumma sta'minna li ta'atika. Salihin, they say, Allah, use us for your obedience. Select us, choose us. You are choosing people to go to hajj. Huh? But you have, we need to be chosen by you to perform every day special ibadah. Chosen by you. Not we try only, but we chosen by you. Allah may Allah choose us to be among the doers of good deeds, special good deeds. May Allah grant us al tawbah wal maghfirah wal rahma, dunya wal akhirah. May Allah grant us to be among the mu'mineen of salihin. And may this blessed month of Dhul Hijjah be a blessed month. This Akhir Tahun, the last month, the last month in the and the year will be, will be concluded with Tawbah Nasuh. 
with barakah, rizq, halal, forgiveness, protection, happiness, prosperity for all the world, inshallah. We pray that all the people will live peacefully. This is a good deed. When you ask Allah that everyone to live peacefully because they are created by Allah and the world belongs to Allah. Ya Allah, let all who lives in this house of dunya live in peace and rahmah and tranquility. This is something which is very special because you will find if Allah accepts the dua, inshallah, kun fayakun, when you find the peace everywhere, that's what we want. Inshallah, Allah will allow us to be among the doers. There were those whom they work for peace in their houses, workplaces, schools, and everywhere. Amin, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi l-akhirati hasana. Waqina a'adhaab al-nar. Warba anna al walidina wal jama'a al-hadhan al-hadhirat wal muslimin wal jama'at al-hiyya minhum wal amwat. Inna ka sameen qareebu jibu al-da'awat. Sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alayhi wa sallam. Walhamdulillahi Rabbi Al-Alameen. تقبل الله منا ومنكم